This is Marissa Dragani at the Cub Bakery in Winnipeg, where bread makers are watching flour prices rise faster than dough. I've been here over 26 years. I've never seen flour double like that. It's now costing this bakery nearly $1,000 a tonne. So people will have to be willing to pay more for a loaf or go on a low-carb diet. I will still buy. I like to have a slice of bread when I have a meal. And it uh, doesn't bother me if I have to pay uh, 75 cents more a loaf. According to Statistics Canada, overall food costs have gone up a little more than a percent in the past year. But the price of bread, it's gone up more than 10 percent. And it's not expected to come down anytime soon. Why? Because the price of wheat has soared. The world's grain supply is the lowest it's been in decades. Australia was a major grain exporter until a recent drought sharply reduced its production. Meanwhile, the demand for grain is growing worldwide, namely in developing countries where a growing middle class is demanding better food. There may at some point be a shift from starch-based diets to more meat, and that does mean uh, uh, much uh, uh, stronger demand for uh, particularly the feed grains. And then there's ethanol. Some U.S. farmers stopped growing grain for food and instead planted corn for fuel. The high price of wheat is good news for prairie farmers like Phil Lewis. He's struggled to stay afloat the past couple of years. Uh, we've been getting by, let's put it that way. Manure from his cattle, he says, fetched more on the market than his grain. But he always knew the days of record high wheat prices would come. I've been saying it's going to happen for the last five to ten years. My children have been telling me I'm not real bright. Lewis says the income from this year's upcoming crop will help him clear up some of the debt he's racked up. And at the age of 70, he just may now have enough money to retire. Marissa Dragani, CBC News, Winnipeg.